so today we'll discuss about busting report okay so first of all we'll have a clarity on the concept of busting report then we'll get into technical stuff so this busting concept this is a part of xml reports okay there's a concept called busting and this is a part of bust, uh, XML reports. But what is the purpose and what is the advantage of this one is the concept of busting is that let us say when you have a requirement, let us say, assume that you have a requ report need to be designed in the XML and the output type is PDF. And what you want to do is by default, you want to send this particular PDF output as an email to the customer. Or let us say you have a requirement to send this PDF as output as a fax as a fax to the customer okay. or let us say you want to send this particular PDF output as a file to a location in the file server okay. right so the basic thing is using a bursting concept we can generate the output we can generate the output to any channel to a particular channel so the channels are one is printer fax email and file so these are four supported look yeah. channels which are supported by the busting this is one of the advantage and not only this one dynamic selection of template at runtime okay. so it provides let us say you have a report okay and you know like um, you have a report and it, it is having around 100 records in that okay or let us thousand records so in a thousand records there is like a, each record maybe let us say this particular records are showing the data of different countries let us say india and russia so as per your requirement the data which belongs to india should be displayed in india report and the data which belongs to russia should be displayed in the russia report okay and that should happen dynamically only one rec one concurrent program which should generate the data in india i mean based on data it has to select the template at runtime okay so using busting it will dynamic selection of template as well as it supports sending the output to a multiple channels multiple channels it will supports support okay. let us say some customer prefer if you consider the postpaid bill some customers prefer to require to receive the hard copy right and some customer prefers okay. to receive fax some customer prefer to receive only email yes. so those all things you can do it, do it using busting concept in a very easy manner okay, okay? so technically how to be implement is so let us say you have an xml report and what does you require so there are two levels uh, observe here when you design xml report you have two concepts uh, two levels right one is data definition and another one is layout so in the data definition as of now we have an xml file called data template right yes data template and the rtf level in the template level you have file called rtf template RTF. now when you want to deal with a busting report at the data definition level you are required to design one more file one more xml file that's called busting control file this is called busting control file so okay okay so at the xml report data definition level we have to design one more xml file that is called file. busting control file busting control. that's the extra thing okay remaining is just as it is remaining things what we have been doing so far just as it is clear okay. Clear. yeah so now what we do is first of all when you get a requirement to design a report what is the first file you define design come again when you get a requirement to design a report what is the first file you have to design it's data template okay clear, clear. so clear. to design a data template the first thing is we require a query okay query. so now what we do is let us say I'll select data from the HRMS table per people X which will give you the active employees in a given table right so now we have a lot of data here so we need to select proper data so the requirement is to design a report to design a report which will display the data from employees from different countries let us say India Japan and maybe some other country and will design three templates and based on the output based on the country automatically it'll select the appropriate template okay that's what we want to do it so 
require ppx dot person id and as employee number and one more thing nationality okay. so if you see Okay, so this AUS is for Australia, right? So where, let us say, I'll try to get the data only from nationality in Australia. C in Canada. Okay. C A C A N, right? Yes. C A N. I N D and Japan. 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 That's it. Okay. PX dot. So we got this data. 678 rows. This fine. Okay. This is our query. Now what we do is like uh, we'll design a report which will display the data from specific this thing, right? So what we do is so here the requirement is like these are these are the employees and like each employee you know like for each employee you have to provide a PDF output about their employee details. Now the question is like uh, here it is giving 600 and 678 right. So nothing but you will get 678 files. So it is very difficult for us to validate row validate. So what we do is I'll try to copy some person IDs of each country. Okay. I'm just doing other matter, but in real time, you know, like uh, they'll provide you the employee number and you know, that's how we generate it. Okay. okay. You got it or any confusion? Up to now, it's fine. Okay, fine. Let us see. So here the requirement is that According to the countries, we need to get the employee details in a single file. Yeah, not single file. We will not get single file. For each employee, you will get a different for, file. What I will do is, will yeah, so I will just take five, five employees for each country. Okay, so okay. yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Why I'm choosing files because like uh, we can't validate uh, 600 records, right? So it's very difficult for us. So I'm just hard coding. Yeah, this is easier. One, two, three, four, five. And Japan. Yeah, Japan is having only three employees. Okay. Right? Sorry. Okay. I'll just say person ID in this one. That's it. From employee order by it's not order by is not required now. That's it. Okay. Now we have a data in which we have employees from each different country. Now we want to design a report which will display the date for each employee. It will display one output, but dynamically it will select the layout based on the employee country. 
clear okay so now we have the query what is the next we have to design the layout a uh, data model right yes data model so i'll just design the data model now first bursting data model so open the file now here i'll select this data okay fine and now yeah tell me yeah yeah right we have to we have to change okay now no parameters i guess yeah no parameters and this is the stuff and now we don't have any trigger so if at all if you are having trigger we can mention like before report trigger and after report but we don't have any triggers so okay i think we have these all columns right person id full name employee number marital status date of birth nationality anything missing date of birth email address yeah email address yeah it's not there okay so data template is done what is this extra yeah yeah that's it so our data template is ready then next what we can do we can register our report concurrent program okay now what's next go to data definition so click on apply now it will ask you to upload the data template okay so busting control file it should be uploading here now first okay. we have to upload the data template click on add file and busting fine so now what we can do to design the report we require the output so what i will do is we'll run the report and once we get the output based on that we'll try to design the templates concurrent uh, requires group okay submit click on view output right so we got the xml output okay so now using this xml output what we do we can design our layout so i'll just save this file it's xcv busting data dot xml so now our requirement is to have a how many layouts four layouts right Yes. We are required to do four layouts. So let's see that. So I'll just say XXCV. So first I'll design Australia. This is my Australia report. Okay. And now what you do? We need to load the same data in every busting RTF file. Yes. Yeah, so each layout, 
each layout what it will have a different data right so our data is getting segregated based on your country so if the data belongs to australia that will pick up australia layout if the data belongs to india that will pick up the india layout at one time so you'll see the output then you'll understand easily so now as of now what i will do is i'll design four layouts okay so data load up. what i have to do data.xml right and now insert table wizard we can select form because for each employee you'll have single output okay or maybe let it be table as of now i'll select all the columns finish okay now So now to have a differentiation what we do is we'll just have a header so that we can easily understand okay which report it belongs to Australia employee details okay all nice to have features we can have it like uh, clip arts, these logos, all these kind of things. Okay. okay. This is Australia. Okay. Now what I will do is I'll save the, save as one more thing. Australia then Canada right Canada I'll save as Canada now here I'll just change it to Canada and here this one I'll change the color okay Canada and again I'll change it India India And here change it to okay India and finally Japan. okay Japan so now we have four layouts right now what's next so now we have to upload all these templates okay control file will do it last control file will do last now click click on template and upload the templates okay definition right and now what we do is so here for each template i will register a template okay for each rtf rtf okay. file i will define a new template okay i mean to say new yeah. template definition i mean now this one let us say australia like this okay. australia english so this is for Australia okay now next I'll click on templates and I will create one more template now okay now this is for Canada Apply. Mm. 
now we'll define for India. PDF. Now create final template now, Japan. Okay, that's it. So now here, when you run the report, by default, let us say, assume that you have not designed your busting and see what exactly how it works, okay? okay. Now, as of now, we have not designed our busting control file. So for what we have done is, what all we have done? So as of okay. now, we have done our XML data definition and RTF. So this is not, this particular one we have not yet done. XML okay. busting control file we have not yet done. So what will happen if you run the report now? Just see. So by default, it will select one layout, the latest layout, because la early the f the last layout which we have defined is Japan. So by default, it will select the Japan layout. Now just submit the report, and you'll get output the total stuff in the Japan layout. But that is not what we that is not what we require. We require the output to be displayed in respective layouts, right? So, yes. but as of now, just run it and see the output, right? So we got everything in a Japan layout. Can you see India, Canada? Australia and everything is in Japan layout. Why? Because when you run the report, it will always take the latest layout. So now once you add up the busting control file, that's where the difference comes into picture. Okay. So let us see how do we define the busting control file. So yeah, this is my busting control file. Okay. So I'll just say XXCV bust busting control file. Control file again. The name is control file, but the format is XML only. Okay. Okay. This is our busting control file. Now here, what exactly you require to do us? Now, first of all, you open your data, the data which we retrieved from our report, the XML data. Okay. Now, what is the top level tag? XXCV okay. underscore busting. And okay. what is a list again? Again, for the top level tag followed by list record followed by username, right? Okay. So now, okay. what we do is make a note of this information. The top level tag, list to tag, and followed by the group level tag. Now, in the control file, what exactly do it will do is it has to read each and every record. In that, it has to find out the nationality. Based on that, it will call the appropriate template at runtime. So now observe here. So this is the syntax here. Yeah. X API request select is equal to. What are we trying to select? So what is our top level tag? This is our top level tag. XXCV busting and what is the list? Sorry, list I think I have not copied properly. This is my list tag. And where is our group tag? This is my group tag. Okay. G username, list G username, right? This is what this is what okay. we have it. Now then what are we trying to do? Now the output. So so we want to generate like delivery like if you see I was telling right delivery we can generate the output to n number of locations nothing but like I mean as of now it support four locations I'm not sure what is the latest one but uh, what I know is it supports four locations one is fax email printer and file system so only option what I can check in our right now in the current environment is only file system because email fax printer we cannot check it okay. because we don't have the infrastructure so now what we can do is so I'm, we would like to generate the output to a particular location in our server. So what we do is open the WinSCP. So I'll just, we'll just create a valid location in the server and we'll mention that location here. Okay. Okay. So now any valid location. So now let us say, now in this, if you see our earlier, earlier, this one, we mentioned into instance top. So we can go there itself. VIs, instance home, apps, VIs, GLO. And here, let us say, I'll just mention, create a new folder. 
X X V C busting. Okay. Okay. I give the permissions here. Fine. This is our location in which we would like to generate the output, all the files. So till this location, just mention this one. And followed by, if you observe, when you generate a report, you need to mention, you need to you need to know what is the file name, right? So what I what we do is we'll generate the file name using the person ID, nothing but employee ID. Followed by, we'll also mention nationality. Let us say like this. Dollar stands for the like uh, the syntax. Now here, what are we trying to do is you are at the current this level. Now you enter like uh, it is nothing but you are digging down to the XML content. So you read the parent tag, you read the list tag, you read the group tag. Then followed by what is you have what you have you are, you have the column names right? Person ID, nationality. So these are the column names. Okay. Now the output file name will be person ID underscore nationality. Okay. Okay. Now what is next? So now here in this syntax, you, you need to select what output file, what output type you want to have it and based on country. Now, if you see there is somewhere we mentioned condition. Can you see Australia, India like this? So we'll have four yeah. conditions now. We have four conditions. One, two, three and four. Now in this four conditions, what is the first one? Australia, wherever the nationality is Australia, what template we have to select? So we need to mention that. So this is nothing but you know like our template data definition, template definition, template code. Okay. So now here, this is my template code for Australia, Australia, and this is language and territory. So here, while uploading, we never selected territory, right? We just selected yes. language, territory. If you don't select it, we have to mention it as zero. Okay. Okay. Now same way, save it everywhere. First is Australia, then Canada. Okay. And here also you have to mention the condition CAN and then India, India, then Japan. Here mention Japan. Okay. So now what is happening is let us say we have around 35 records, right? So these 35 records each is having different country. So based on their country, automatically it will select the appropriate template and generate the output in that okay. at runtime. Okay. Okay. So that is the advantage of the bursting. We does not need to write any complex code at all for this. Okay. So this one you have to here this FND is nothing but your application short name of your template. Application short name followed by busting code name followed by language and followed by territory. Okay. And you can also have many conditions here. Let us say in some scenarios what happens is let us say if you have a column called output type, you can filter the data based on if output type is equal to email here delivery will mention some other one. So you can I, I can mention multiple deliveries here. I can mention multiple deliveries here. File one is file system, one is email, right? Let us say some customers prefer to receive email, some customers prefer to pr receive printer, right? So what you do is based on their like you should have one more column specifying what output type they want it, and okay. based on that you can mention the appropriate filter criteria here. You can filter the data based on that, and you can have appropriate delivery channel here. So what you can do is for each delivery you can have this document. What you do is for each delivery you have you'll have the same copy again. So you'll mention the appropriate delivery name. So this file, this ID, right? So here we have to mention the appropriate ID. So in the delivery, what we do is, in the delivery, we'll create a list of deliveries which are supported. And here you'll mention that particular delivery ID here. Okay. Okay. Now, yeah. So upload the control file, bursting control file. Yeah, add file, control file, okay, that's it. Now again run it, run the program. Okay, still no change, right? It is still selecting the Japan template. Let it, run, let it take, click on submit.
Okay, we see the output. No difference, right? Still, it is selecting the Japan template. Now, the thing is, so, so make a note of this request ID. Okay. Now, what we do is run run the program, submit new request. Now, here there is something called there is a seeded busting program. Observe here. Uh, can you see XML publisher report busting program? Yeah. Right. So select that. Now for this one, the requirement is what you do is you need to provide the request ID of your program. So we have to submit our program. Okay. And now just yeah. provide the request ID of our custom program and just tab out. So it will select the automatic. It will automatic select the file name. Okay. Click on OK and submit. So now what is happening is first of all we have to run our program and then later we have to run our seeded concurrent program that is called XML XML publisher this program okay. right here we have to run this particular program for this one we have to provide we have to provide the request ID of our custom program okay okay then this particular seeded program what it will do is it will read the request ID it will read your control file and based on that again it will regenerate everything okay it got completed and now check the file system here refresh here got it yeah. so now just see the output you can easily understand that Australia Australia data and now let us say you select India select it has to be different layout got it India and Canada yeah Canada right the so colors I think there is some missing the colors but and Japan Right. Okay. So this is how it works. Okay. Sorry. Like, come uh, and like once again repeat over there. Like using the request ID, like uh, we are calling these XML seeded program, right? Yes, so what we have to do is first of all we have to run our custom program. Okay, so let it select any template What happens is if you see while running the run, while running our program what it is doing it is selecting default template, right? Default. The latest yes. template. So yes. that is not your real output. What we have to do is yes. Once you once your program completes take your request ID take this request ID and now submit yes. a new request Then what you do is run the seeded busting program XML busting program yes. XML publisher busting report busting program and for this one you just provide the request ID of your program So now here. I'll just delete all the data Okay, okay. now Click on ok. So once you click on ok based on the request ID it will again automatically validate your program name So click on ok now. Can you see it is validating here? It is validating these descriptions. Can you see? Yes, okay, just click on ok. Yeah. So that's it now click on submit Okay so the seeded program will read the control file of your custom program and then it will generate the output. So now here just refresh. I got some error. Let's see what is the log. I think we have provided invalid stuff, I guess. Okay. So now rerun the program once, rerun our custom program. Okay. Now this will get completed. Okay, it got completed, right? Now copy this request ID. Now submit XML publisher report busting program. Tab out. Select the yeah submit. Now if you see the parameter, the request ID which we passed is 4082, right? This one 4082. Yeah, completed. Refresh here. Got it? Yeah. Yeah. So that is a concept. The only extra thing is control file. Remaining is just as it is what we have been discussing. Okay. 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 Yeah, so we'll discuss that uh, other pivot stuff next class, okay? Okay. Yeah.
Yep. Okay. Then. Yeah.